Hi guys, how are you doing? It's Donna and welcome to another video for It's All About Jade Summer. Today I will be coloring out of Magical Forest. I just got this book in yesterday um, after coloring in Hidden Garden. I decided that I would kind of like to get Magical Forest. I do not believe I will get Secret Jungle. Um, I don't know. We'll, we'll see. But we'll do a quick flip through of Magical Forest. And then we will um, move along. Some of you may be interested in some of these pictures. Um, I get... I would said this with Hidden Garden. I really get a almost like a Johanna Basford vibe off of um, Hidden Garden, Magical Forest, and Secret Jungle. So, let's take a look at each one of the pictures. And you have 50 total images, 25 um, with two of each. Black backgrounds, create space paper. Um, there's some pretty nice images. And I, I truly think I may like this book a little better than Hidden Garden, maybe. It seems to have um, a little bit of um, bigger artwork. This is the one I'm actually going to work on here in just a few minutes. These are some really nice images. I like them. And I think, and this is where it starts over and then it repeats. Um, I think I'll enjoy coloring in this. I do. Um, what I had intended to do was to use the new Arteza fine liners um, in this book on video. I think I had mentioned that to you guys. But when I received the Arteza fine liners, I tried to swatch them out. Um, try being the keyword in the Jade Summer um, swatch page book and I do not like the way the Artezas lay down on um, the Jade Summer paper. I have not tried them on regular like create space paper yet even though this is create space all create space is not created alike. Um, one of the first things I noticed was that when the ink from the Artezas soaked into the paper you immediately saw a lot of this black it was pilling the paper a lot in my opinion a more so than my stibolos um at first i thought these fine liners are crap i don't want them um but then i thought wait let me put them to the test in a book that has um thicker smoother better paper so that is what i did I worked in Mandala Meditation, and I did this picture, and I threw every fine liner I own at this to see. This has Artezas, it has Stadler Triplus, it has Stabilo, um, it has um, also the Hobby Lobby brand of fine liner, 36 count that you can get that I think is supposed to kind of be like the Stadler Triplus. So, I threw all of those at that, and I believe the Artezas performed just as well on the good, more quality paper as the other fine liners did. Um, I didn't see much of a difference once I put them on better paper. Not my Stabilos did okay in the Create Space on the Jade Summer book, the last one, so I assumed that the Artezas were going to be fine. But the Artezas did not do well, in my opinion, in the Jade Summer books. But I'm not going to say they're bad fine liners because they did perform okay in this. And there was absolutely no bleed through of any of my fine liners. So my opinion on the Artezas is if you get them, be aware that you're not going to be able to put them at least in the Jade Summer books. Um, I will try them in um, some other Create Space um, books and see what my opinion is 
with that. So, with that being said, that kind of threw a, threw a little um, wrench into my plans because I knew that these images were also smaller, much too small on a, most of these for my alcohol markers. So I decided, okay, what am I going to do? So I just grabbed my AN um, 100 count glitter gel pens. That's what I'm going to color with. I know you guys have seen me coloring with my um, gel pens a lot recently. And I'm sorry, I will get back to my alcohol markers and things like that shortly. But, you know, I had a plan and it all just kind of went kapoot, kapoot, kapooey all around me. And I apologize for that. You know, you can always make plans, but the one thing you cannot plan is the outcome. So, that's been something that I've had to um, try to learn over time. And sometimes it's a painful lesson. And you guys are going to hear a lot of, you know, popping and squeaking and all that kind of stuff as I try to start... Um, pulling out some pins. I'm going to have to be careful and make sure I'm putting these pins back in almost immediately because um, I do have a swatching system <laughs> somewhat going for these. So we will see how this goes. So guess what? It's a beautiful day in the neighborhood, a beautiful day. It is sunny. Yes, sunny with no rain. It's amazing. I love it, love it, love it. I was getting so depressed with the horrible weather that we have been having. And I am just beyond thrilled to be able to see some sunshine for the first time in what seems like forever. So it is so nice. The rain stops uh, yesterday, I believe it was. Um, but we still had to contend with um, the nasty, dreary clouds, um, but today the sun is out, it is shining bright, and I could not be happier. I get very depressed when the, um, weather is just dreary and icky and it's, ugh. but this is wonderful. This is absolutely wonderful. I can work with this. Um, my dad was telling me that he had heard on the news that we had three days of clear weather in the entire month of December. And, you know, I knew it had been bad. I did not realize it had been that bad. But apparently it had. So. I'm not sure I chose the right colors for this, but we're going to roll with them. They looked a little better. This one looked a little better on my swatch. It's definitely very neon-y on the paper. But I'm going to make it work, and it's going to be pretty. Positivity. For those of you who joined the Facebook group, welcome to that also. For those of you who are maybe interested... The link to the Facebook group is in the description of this video. It's also titled uh, just Color with Donna on Facebook. I deleted my page that I had made just to keep up with some of my pages or you know, pictures. I went ahead and deleted that to just kind of alleviate any confusion. So that group's active. We will see how that goes. I'm hoping it'll be a positive experience for everyone. So what are you guys doing this beautiful day? It is Sunday here. I hope you are having an amazing weekend. I am not sure that this video will get to you before your weekend is over. So I hope you had an amazing weekend. What did you do? 
anything fun, special. It was a pretty relaxing overall weekend. Um, there was some things that had to get accomplished, but then once that was done, it was pretty relaxing. Yesterday, Saturday, I finally took down my Christmas tree um, and took the decorations off my mantle um, and got them put away. So I left a few things out for the year. My mother-in-law had given me a beautiful like glass um, blown uh, bell and it had a gorgeous hand painting on it. Um, very wintry, Christmassy, but um, I was afraid that it might get broken in storage. So it's going to stay out with me this year. One of the angels that was purchased for my daughter, um, I have a very, very dear friend, Tammy, when Brooke passed away, Tammy um, wanted to start buying an angel every year um, at Christmas time for the tree um, in, in remembrance of Brooke, which I thought was such a sweet gesture. And last year's angel that she had sent, I absolutely loved it. Um, I've loved all of them, but I really loved this one that was very pearlescent. Um, and I just decided to keep it out this year. I'm going to just kind of keep it on display. Uh, I like to collect angels. Love angels. So I left that out. And have you guys seen the old-fashioned like ceramic Christmas trees that had the little plastic bulbs that would go inside of it and it would light up? Um... My grandmother used to have one of those many years ago, and I always, you know, she kept it out year-round. She would take the little lights out of the ceramic, I think, during the year, maybe, and then put them in at Christmas. I tend to remember her doing that, um, but last Christmas, I found one similar this one's battery operated it's not you know powered like the one she had and the little bulbs cannot be removed but um, I found that at Hobby Lobby last year and I bought it because it reminded me so much of her and um, when Christmas rolled around this year I had totally forgotten what I had packed it in and last year, Gary had given me a one of the hot air fryer machines, and apparently I had just packed it in that box because it was about the right size after Christmas. And so this year, I could not find it. It took me a while um, to locate that in all the different storage areas that we have. And so... I decided since this means, you know, so much that it reminds me of my grandmother, I wish I had her original, but I don't know what happened to that after she passed away. Sorry about you guys with Bradley. He's enjoying the sunshine too. He's right outside. Um, hopefully he'll stop without me having to scold him. Um, apparently not. Hold on. Bradley, that's enough. Thank you. Um... But um, I, I left it out this year. One, I didn't want it to get broken. And two, I did not want another, oh my goodness, where is it time next year. So I left that out also. Um, but that's it. Everything else is up and packed away. Which is good. We still have to get my the rest of the things from my mother-in-law's tree. She had a tree of her own in the Florida room where she stays most of the day. Um, she did work on that some yesterday. I really don't like touching her things like that because I'm so afraid that if I, you know, that I'll break something. And most of her ornaments have like a significance to them. So I just kind of wanted to let her do that. 
she's going to work on it some more. And then, of course, we'll take it out to the shed for her and get that put away. Um, so I, we did that yesterday. And then after that, um, Gary, during the day, while I was taking down the tree and things, Gary was working on getting his things together for his hunting trip. This will probably be the last of the year. He did not get to hunt much at all this year. Um, his mother had her surgery and the surgery, as you guys know, did not go very well. And um, so he was home during all of that when he was supposed to be in the woods. So that was very depressing for him. Um, this will be the big last hoorah with his friends. Um, he left uh, maybe maybe an hour ago, if that long, to leave for that trip. It's Sunday afternoon here, um, and he'll be gone until Wednesday evening. Um, they'll pack up after the early morning hunt on Wednesday and head back. So I'm going to try to be a good girl and not spaz out being alone. I mean, my mother-in-law will be here, but in the past, I haven't done real well just alone. But that's what I have you guys for. Um, so I'm going to try to film a lot over the next few days. Once this uh, color and chat is recorded, I am going to finish my picture that I'm working on in Secret Garden. You guys saw a sneak peek at the start of that yesterday. I'm going to, was it yesterday? Yes, but I actually, you guys saw that yesterday, but I actually began started it on Friday. So that has been what I have worked on since really early Friday. But yesterday I only got to work on it late in the evening because I spent all day on that mandala because I knew, I knew I had told you guys I was going to use the Artezas today in this book. And I was like, well, there may be some people who are actually really looking forward Okay, guys, I have absolutely no idea why my camera just stopped recording there. I'm glad it gave me a nice little noise to let me know that happened. Hopefully, that will not happen again. Um, but, like I said, um, a few of you have expressed some interest in knowing how they worked. And I was like, okay, so I just felt like I needed to give them the best shot. I didn't want to come and say, hey, they suck. When all I had tried them on was the Jade Summer paper. Uh, because, you know, even your Prisma colors do not work well in Jade Summer. And those are some of the best pencils, you know, if you ask around. They're definitely probably the most popular pencil amongst colorists. And um, they just don't work well on this type of paper. So I definitely wanted, you know, to give the Ortiz's the best shot. I wanted to be able to give you guys my opinion on those, and I'm going to find something to use them on. I don't know that I want to sit and just swatch them out because I also found out that swatching out fine liners is a pain because, you know, of course, they're only 0.4 millimeters. So, yeah. That's the deal on that. So, um, I worked on that mandala all day yesterday for that. And then yesterday evening, I was able to get back to the Secret Garden page and do a little more on it. And then I've been working on it this morning. Um, it's getting there. It's almost done. And I'm excited to show that to you guys because, you know, it's a double page spread and it's Johanna Bassford and I've been so intimidated in the past, and I finally said, hey, 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 I'm going to figure out a way to do this. And, you know, I may not know my pencils um, like so many other colorists, 
but what I do know and what I am comfortable with is definitely my gel pens, um, I definitely my pit pens. I'm working on finding other mediums. You know, fine liners I'm pretty good with. So I'm definitely wanting to find other mediums that will work in those double page books like that, like the Johanna Basford, because I'm going to enjoy those books. I may not have my pencil skills down yet, and until I do, I'm going to find a way to enjoy those books. It's just plain and simple. I know I've had a few people comment that they haven't colored in theirs either, and I would encourage you to do so. Get yourself some gel pens. I mean, I know the pit pens can be expensive. Um, I haven't really tried the Crayola Super Tips in there, but if they don't bleed through, you know, don't worry. For goodness sakes, test it. If those aren't bleeding through, go for it. Enjoy that book. It's why you bought it. And that's something that I have come to the conclusion of, and I am going to start coloring in these books. I have some other books. I have uh, the Kirby Roseanne's. I have Mythographic, and there is a new Mythographic. Imagine, I think, coming out in March. I'll be getting that as well. Um, well, I think I will. I really would like to see a flip through of it, but I may order it blind. We'll see. Um, but... I'm going to color in these books. End of discussion. I'm not going to sit back intimidated by the artwork or intimidated by the fact that it's double-sided or intimidated because I think it's a, you know, beautiful, fancy book and I don't want to mess it up. No. I spent Gary's hard-earned money <laughs> on those books. <laughs> and I'm going to use them plain and simple. And I hope that you guys will be inspired by that. I know that there are others out there who aren't really um, skilled with their pencils yet. And that's okay. There's other ways to do things. And we will work on learning our pencils, but in the meantime, we are going to be able to color in our books. That's it. Donna said it. Therefore, it is. <laughs> but, um, yeah. So I hope you'll be encouraged and inspired. And just go for it. Enjoy it. Have fun. It's just a book at the end of the day. You know, nothing bad is going to happen. All right? If you mess up the page, so what? If you can't deal with it, um, there's another copy to be bought. Okay? I mean, that's... That's just the reality of it, is if you mess something up just that bad and can't live with it, there's other copies. It's not like that was the only copy in the world. So keep that in mind. Another thing I'm going to work on this evening is I am going to do some research and I'm going to figure out how in the world to make intros for my videos. So if you began this video and there was an intro, I have succeeded. If not, I'm still working on it, but I will succeed. So I'm going to work on that. Um, I'm going to work on thumbnails for videos and start doing that, those kind of things. Um, I use my phone for my recording and I have also used it for almost all of my rendering and uploading and editing and all of that. Um, I, at least on the mobile YouTube, I don't think I have seen where to add the thumbnails and things. Um... I'm going to have to look, and I may end up having to pull my computer out when I do these uploads, and the only reason, I mean, it's an older computer, um, it's getting age on it, it's Windows 10, but I mean, it's five years old, six years, maybe six years old, um, so it's kind of slow, and I don't know, I can't rationalize spending a lot of money on a computer or a laptop because I really don't ever use it. 
Um, Gary has a notebook, like Chromebook, I think, that he uses. And, you know, he uses it a lot. But for me, I pay my bills on my cell phone. I access Facebook off my cell phone. I do my banking off my cell phone. Um, I film off my cell phone. I email off my cell phone. I cruise Facebook. Did I say that? Off my cell phone. Um, I can easily go a few months and never touch my laptop. So I just find it difficult to spend hundreds of dollars um, to replace this laptop because I'm just not using it enough to justify that kind of a purchase. And if that ever changes in the future, then I will revisit that. But for now, no. But I mean, if I need to use my laptop, I'll put it, I'll pull it out and I'll use it and we'll see where that goes. But I don't have anything fancy schmancy. Many, many moons ago, I had a MacBook and Something went terribly wrong with it. I mean, it just fried itself. And that was just the end of that. I just couldn't afford a new one. Um, so, I didn't. Okay, there are those flowers. I wonder what I want to do with the big flower in the center. I don't know yet. I know this sounds horrible. I just scritch, scritch, scritch. But, you know, I'm keeping these in a case so I can keep up with the um, swatch that I made of them. So... Let's us see. Do we want to do a purple flower, maybe? I don't know that I have enough purples to put a lot of color in that. Um, I don't know. We can just start out and try. I mean, my goodness. What's the worst thing that happens, right? It's a coloring book. And the cool thing is in Jade Summer... There's two of each image, so there's nothing to fear but fear itself. So what are you guys working on? Are you doing any pictures in Jade Summer? I've seen a couple of you. Um, a couple of you have sent me Jade Summer pictures that you've completed. They're beautiful. Um... I've had a couple put up on the Facebook group. They look beautiful. Um, I will start to post as much as I can on the Facebook group. I know that a lot of you don't have Facebook, so I'm still going to do my monthly videos for my completed pages and all of that, but I may do previews here and there on the Facebook page or the Facebook group. And for those of you who are in the group, um, maybe it'll still be nice for you to see those finished images all together in one video at the end of the month. And I felt like I was coloring extremely slowly so far this month, but then I looked and I I think I'm at 10 maybe, so that's not bad at all, it still being so early in the month. But you know, I have done some, um, some pictures that have taken me a lot more time than normal. So, I did get a... SD card for my phone to expand my memory. I've got a funny feeling something to do with memory is why that video just stopped. 
Um, I may not have it set up correctly to record directly to that memory card. That's something I'm going to have to take a look at, apparently. I think I'm going to try to get a light to put, like, on my phone when I'm filming and see if that will brighten these videos up a little more for you guys. I don't, I don't like the way they look through the viewfinder to me. I think they could be a little more bright and vibrant, and I'm going to look into getting a light that'll go right on my phone. I think that might help. But hopefully I'll be able to record longer videos, put um, more videos into storage. That way, you know, when I have some extra time, I can just turn on the camera and talk to you guys in color and be able to have a few, you know, of those kind of things in reserve for times that I can't video because there will be times that I cannot video in April we always go on a fishing trip, and I will be gone for probably six to eight days. Um, I want to be able to set up some videos, you know, that'll release during that time. Of course, I won't be responding to any comments or anything like that until I get back, because where we go, there is zero cell phone service. We have to drive down a very big mountain, um, about five miles, just, and I mean, it's like switchback roads, just to get to an area that you can get phone reception. Even in that area, you don't get the internet. Um, you have to drive, my goodness, it's over 20 miles um, to get to a town close by that does have, um, you know, you can get your reception for your internet and stuff there. And I know, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> I choked on my coffee a little bit. Um, I know 20 miles doesn't sound far at all, but if any of you live in the mountains or have encountered mountainous regions, when you get back on those switchback roads, the dirt switchback roads, 20 miles, it takes you so long to go that far. You might as well have driven 100 miles. Seriously, that's what it kind of feels like by the time you get there. It takes so much time to do that. And we'll go into the town maybe once or twice while we're camping if we need like extra supplies or, you know, whatever. But other than that, we're there at the campsite. I just like to enjoy the quietness and the nature. And, you know, last year I sat out and I colored. Um, and it was peaceful listening to the stream and coloring and all of that. The guys really like to trout fish. I've never actually fished with them when I went. Maybe I should try that this year. We'll see. No promises there. But, <laughs> maybe. I'm so worried about getting these pins put in the wrong spot. So I'm trying to kind of be super careful about it. Okay, that is not the one I wanted for sure. You know, when you've spent a lot of time trying to, you know, swatch things out a bit, the last thing you want to happen is to get things all mixed up. Is this pen going to want to act up on me? Better happen. There we go. I really haven't had any problems with these a and art pens. Um, so far, I think they might be the most budget-friendly. 
if you consider in quality and quantity and all of that, but there's a lot of other brands I still want to try. Um, before I make a final judgment call on that. I think I might, oh my goodness. Give me just a second, guys. Okay, so that was interesting. I'm sure you guys heard my pins go like all over the place. Well, my pen, I had the two pins out and one of them, it just, I lost the cap to it and it took me forever. Okay, that video stopped again and I don't know why it's doing that. Ugh, I'm gonna have to take a long, hard look at this. But yeah, I had to locate my pen. My pin top because you know having the pin was no good without having the top. There. Oh. So it's going to be a long next few days for me. I am just not used to not seeing my husband. Every so often, you know, most days I take him a meal or something, even when he's on his 24-hour shifts. You know, I'll take him a meal or something. And um, so a lot of times I see him even then. Um... He's going to be way far away for this. And we're not sure he's even going to have cell phone signal. So we will see. I'm going to try to suck it up, buttercup. And just remember that he's having fun with his friends. You know, they all don't get to see each other very often. He is still, his best friend is still um, his best friend from when he was extremely young. Um, and we go to the same church, so they get to see each other there. But, you know, they both have very busy schedules. Um obligations and things like that so they really don't get to hang out much so it does them good to get to go on these little hunting trips um, he has another friend that's a hunting friend and of course they don't get to see each other much unless they're hunting and then there is one guy that he does hunt with that they both work for the fire department but they're on different shifts so they really don't get to see each other that much either. So this is going to be fun for him. Normally I'll put the light color down and then add a little bit of the dark color so it seems to blend in and then go over there with the light again. To blend them in really good but it just seemed like when I did that first petal that it wanted to just make streaks when I was adding the darker color so I decided to just put the dark in here first and then come back over it with the lighter color and that actually seems to be working a lot better um, with these pins in this particular book so you know, sometimes you just have to figure out the best way to use something, and that's kind of like those Artezas. You know, they may not have been any good for this Jade Summer, um, but they work fine in, in something else. So you just have to take what you have and test it out on different things and figure out, you know, what it works best on.
my nephew's surgery has been postponed. You know, he was going to have his surgery on the 10th, but they've had to postpone that. Um, I'm not sure why yet, but it's the Shriners Hospital in South Carolina is who has stepped up and offered to do this because there's no way my niece could afford um, this surgery at all. It's going to be a very complicated, lengthy recovery kind of surgery, and there's no way, and we're very thankful um, for the Shriners Hospital for um, stepping up to do this for him. Um, but they have had to postpone that. I will let you guys know um, when it's been rescheduled. So if you will, you can pray for him or at least, you know, send really good thoughts and vibes. They're greatly appreciated. Um, he's got a long road ahead of him. He's just, just now over a year old and it's going to be a very, very long road for him. Um, I'm trying to decide if I want to trade off colors or if I kind of just want to keep going Ooh, with these. <laughs> Let's see. Um, Gary's test results came back in. And he has been diagnosed with renal arterial stenosis. That means that he has narrowing of his arteries to his kidneys due to what we believe as plaque buildup. That's what's been causing his blood pressure to go up so high. And, you know, his bottom number has been running uncontrollably high. And he's on blood pressure medicine anyway. And he's like on a blood pressure medicine, two beta blockers. It just wasn't really working. Um, we're waiting to hear back from the specialist to get an appointment to get a game plan for treatment. Um, our understanding is treatment will be surgery. So, in the next few weeks or month or so, that's probably going to be happening with Gary. Um, they go in, my understanding is they go in and they put in a stent. They clean out the arteries to the kidneys. So it's kind of like the surgery that my mother-in-law just had on the arteries in her neck. So that has me a little nervous. Um, you know, even though most of the time, absolutely positively, nothing goes wrong, it always can go wrong, you know. So if you'll just, you know, keep Gary in your thoughts and prayers too, um, as we deal with that, I'm going to stay positive, but I mean, Gary is the love of my life. I, I could not imagine life without him. So I worry a lot about, you know, the type of job he has and, um, you know, a lot of the health problems that he has, they, they concern me because he is, he is absolutely my everything. I love him, um, to the moon and back. He, I mean, I, I just can't even begin to explain. Great guy. And I know few people had asked like how we met or whatever and I was thinking about doing that but I was like you know what I'll wait until a little closer to Valentine's Day because it's a really sweet sappy story <laughs> and so I was like you know we'll save that one for February that could be a cute little Valentine's Day story and if I have to give a warning or disclaimer on that one it's plain and simply if you can't stand Christmas Hallmark um then you don't want to hear the story. 
but uh, yeah. I had thought about even using my Tombows in here, but then I was like, eh, I don't know. Because I had never, you know, tried to put Tombows down on Create Space paper. And I wasn't sure what was going to happen. So I thought that I might need to kind of test that out before I just, you know, start using that on camera. But I want to start using those Tombows. I um, have started coloring with my pit pens. I'm having a blast with that. You know, they're lots of fun. And I want to get my Tombows out and start using those because they've been neglected a lot too for these, for my alcohol markers. And gosh, I love my alcohol markers. I do. But I also want to color out of all these other, you know, wonderful, wonderful things that I have um, acquired. And yeah, I want to do that. And I'm going to do that. Okay, let's see now. I have no idea how this is going to work out, but we're going to try it. Ain't none to it, but do it. I'm sorry, I keep taking sips of my coffee. I don't want to tell you guys, excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. So I just try to be quiet about it. Of course, you guys can probably hear it. Um, let me make sure these are both going real good before I start trying to throw some color around. Ooh, I don't know if I want that yellow. I might be glad that I... I might be glad I checked that. I don't, let me test this yellow and see. May change my mind. Yep, I think I will. I think I will change my mind. And who knows, I may regret this, but whatever. It's just a coloring page. That's not too bad. I've had a few of you have told me that you love my color choices when I, you know, do things and the palettes that I pick. And goodness gracious, um, I have one of you <laughs> beautiful, beautiful people say, you know, hey, why don't you start putting together some color palettes for us? And I'm like, ha, ha, ha. I don't feel like I'm that good. Um, I just, when I color, I go with whatever I think looks good. I don't pay attention to, you know, color families, color codes, color wheels. I own a color wheel. You know, I purchased one and I was so excited. I was going to, you know, go by color theory and I have not pulled that color wheel out. Not once since I bought it. So, I just go with whatever I think, you know, feels right to me. Um, I look at what colors are on the page, and I just kind of think, hey, you know, what seems pleasing, and I roll with it. And sometimes it comes out, and I look at it, and I'm like, oh, that's great. And then there are some times that it comes out and I'm like, oh, I cannot believe I did that. And, you know, now used to, I was able to just chunk it and go on. But, you know, if you're, if you have like a color and chat channel and you're on film and it goes sideways, you just got to make the best of it because it's done. It is there. Um, what are you going to do? Throw away all your video and start over. <laughs> so, you know, that puts a whole new level of um, 
concern on you when you're coloring. But, you know, and I also, I don't want to, to hide things from you guys. So if I mess up, I'm really trying to say, okay, like there's one picture that you guys will see at the end of the month. I'm not happy with it. I think I made a horrible color decision when I was working on it. Oh, to me, it's horrible. And I I started to be like, um, yeah, no. But then I thought, you know, no, they want to see, you know, they're my subscribers because they want to see me color. And I want them to know that sometimes things are just bad. <laughs> and it happens. So I don't want to, you know, I don't want to hide that. Because I really want to be an encouragement to you guys. Um, to color with no fear. You know, color like nobody's watching. Like nobody's business. Um... You always hear that, you know, dance like nobody's watching. Well, color like nobody's watching. As long as you enjoyed what you, you, you know, if you enjoyed coloring it, it was a success. And if you think that it's went sideways and you toss it, you're tossing out all the enjoyment that you had had up until that point. You know, so... Don't do that. And I'm trying to really be hard on myself about not doing that. You know, make a hard rule. Try to fix it. And if you can't, just roll with it. Sometimes I get stumped when I'm coloring. And I can't figure out what to do next. Um, you know, for example, I may be working here on this flower and think, okay, what do I do now? And honestly, that's, I'm kind of trying to think ahead a little now. And I am having a hard time with what am I going to do to the rest of this. But, um, you know, sometimes you're doing that. And what I have found that helps me personally is what I do is I just leave it and I'll just start coloring somewhere else on my page you know like I'll say okay I don't know what to do um, with this the rest of this flower so instead of sitting here and struggling and just finally settling and just throwing anything down you know if the picture is really important to me kind of thing Instead of doing that, I'll just say, okay, walk away, go find something else, whether it be go color, you know, go color the leaves, go color some of the other flowers. And sometimes when you do that, you get an entirely new perspective because the other colors that you bring in um, will inspire you with what you wanted to do or what you want to do with the area that you didn't know, you know, that you would just really ran into a brick wall with and didn't know where to go from there. So that helps me a lot. Just to walk away. And if I feel that, because there are times when I feel like something has just went, you know, completely sideways for me and I'll walk away from the whole picture and just go find something else to color. And then come back and revisit it, you know, whether it be later that day or the next day or a week from then even, you know. And look at it then with a fresh set of eyes. And you may find that it's not as bad as you thought it was. Or you may have, you know, you may be inspired as to what you can do to kind of fix Whatever it was that you feel like you messed up. Or maybe you really just didn't mess up at all. Truthfully, you can't mess up art. And that's what we're doing. Even though it's coloring, we're making art. You can't mess up art. You, you truly can't. Because art is all about the perspective of the artist. You know, it may not be what you wanted it to be exactly. You know, how you had it planned out in your head. And that's fine, you know, it's still art. L label it abstract art and move on.
You know, I was trying to get the same purple, but this is obviously not the same purple that was up, you know, that was here either. So, but that's okay. Okay, definitely what's happening where this keeps knocking off is something to do with my memory card. Um, it is saving directly to the SD card, and for whatever reason, it keeps knocking off the video. I don't understand why, and I'm going to have to research that. This video is going to be a booger to try to edit and render. There is already so many parts to that. So... <laughs> I am going to be one stressed out person trying to figure that out. Pray for me, people. <laughs> I'm going to start trying to render that out. I don't know. There's obviously something in the settings that I have incorrect. Everything, you know, it's, it's all one big learning curve. And that's okay. One thing's for sure, I will figure it out. That's kind of something that I've been really pushing myself towards is just staying positive. No matter how bad something may seem at the time, just staying positive. You know, getting upset, all that does is make a situation worse. So what do you guys think about that flower? I'm probably not going to continue recording much longer on this particular video because because um, I really don't want I don't want too too terrible much confusion when I go to try to render these out. I don't know why we're doing these little small things, but I don't know. And I know that all other YouTubers have these kind of problems too. Maybe not as frequently as I seem to be having them, but these are just, these are learning pains. It's growing pains. And that's okay. Then, you know, as always, I will finish the picture. It will be, um, what I may do is attach it to the very end of the video. If not, it will be on my completed pages for the month of January. You guys want to come in a little more? I don't want it to get blurry. I don't know which Jade Summer book I will use next. It will probably be... Flower Girl, because I have not colored on camera in Flower Girls yet, so, and that will probably be with my alcohol markers.
I've noticed when I start having issues with my camera or whatever, I really start getting quiet too because I'm, you know, anticipating it to act up and stop or, you know, whatever it's going to do. Uh, you know, that's just kind of one of the, the bad things about being an anxious person. Things like that just really bother you. let it bleed here or not bleed but smear I didn't mean to yeah. I didn't feel like that one was rolling quite well enough for me so I do hope you guys have a wonderful start to your week. I hope that it's peaceful. I know many of you have returned back to work after the holidays. So that's got to be pretty stressful. Um, so I hope that's going well for all of you. Two thousand nineteen is well underway. I had to write my first check for two thousand nineteen, and I did not mess the date up. I was so proud of myself. You know, I was <laughs> normally I will normally it's about March before I'm dating things correctly. <laughs> It was pretty easy that time. It came pretty natural. So maybe I won't have that problem this year. Paid the first part of the bills. Oh, hate paying bills. I'll leave a link in the description to this book, which is Magical Forest. Um, and I will leave a link to these AN Art glitter gel pens if anyone may be interested in them. Or in either of them, should I say. I've enjoyed them a good bit. And I do think I like the look of this book even better than I had liked Hidden Garden. And what Bradley's doing. I haven't heard much out of him since I scolded him. He's probably pouting in the living room. That's generally where he goes to pout. You know, he won't lay here in the room with me. He'll go get on the couch or something in there and just pout like a child. He is my little precious. Okay, guys, I think we are going to stop about here. My back is starting to irritate me a little bit, and I don't want many more clips that I have to work with to get these videos, or to get this video edited and rendered, because I have to 
Um, I have to go in and attach every single one of them into one file, but that is the start of the picture here. Um, either I'll finish this off camera or I'll save it and do more of a color and chat a little later. It'll be either or, but I do want to get into Flower Girls also for January, so we will see how that goes. Um, so, excuse me, that was so rude. <laughs> Um, thank you for watching the video. If you're new to my channel, I hope that you will hit the subscribe button, ring the bell to be notified of future videos, and check out the Facebook page. It's, um, addresses in the description below. And until next time, guys, peace, love, and happy coloring. Bye, guys. See you later.